Hi, this is lesson number 28 from our Photoshop training series. In this exercise, we are going to learn about shapes in Photoshop. In our previous lesson, we learned about pen tool and as I explained that in Photoshop, pen tool, text tool and default shape and custom shapes we can use to create vector object. In our toolbox, here we have shapes. This is a shape tool. When I will click and hold, I will get the additional tools. These are the default shape, rectangle, ellipse, triangle tool, polygon tool, line tool and under that we have custom shapes. Let's start with the rectangle. I am using the latest version of Photoshop. If you are using the previous version such as 2019 or 2020, you will see here two rectangle tool with a sharp corner and rounded corner. But here we have just rectangle tool and same tool we can use to create rectangle with the sharp corner and also we can apply a radius. So if I will click on the rectangle tool, at the top here we have option, we can create shape, we can create path and we can also create pixel object. But I am sure that you will not use this option because it is having limited control in the properties. And Photoshop will create just a pixel based object and it requires layer. Most of the time, once you will create shape, you need to choose this option shape. So directly we can create shape with the fill and stroke. Here is the shape fill and this is the stroke color and this is the thickness and here we have line style. So let's create a square or rectangle. If you want to create perfect square, you need to press shift key from the keyboard. So this is how we have basic square using rectangle tool. We created this and here you can see the four point in the rectangle. These are the point you can use to set the radius. If I will click and drag, I will be able to apply the radius directly in my document this way. Control Z undo and this option is only in the latest version of Photoshop. In the previous version, you will see the radius here. Here also you can set the specific number to apply the radius. Once we created the shape, you can see that the shape property is open. In your workspace, if you cannot access the property, you can directly go to the windows and here we have option properties. You can click and it will be part of your workspace. Here we have transform control and the size. This square shape, if I want, I can give specific size. Here we have width and height and this is the movement through X axis and Y axis. Most of the time this is not necessary, but the size is important. If we want, we can fix the size, let's say 300 by 300. Now this square is 300 by 300 pixel. And here is the mirror. You can mirror horizontally and vertically. You can flip the shape. And here we have a rotation. If you want, you can assign the rotation. You can just click or if you want, you can type here, let's say 45, hit enter. Now our shape is rotated. Let's go back. Under this, we have color. This is the same fill that you can see here. We can change. Here we have color recently we use. If I want, I can click one of them and then click on the property somewhere here. So you will get back these options. So here we have stroke. If we want, we can set the stroke. These are the color recently I use. If I want custom color, I can click here and then I can choose my desired color, let's say green or blue, any color and click OK. Now that color will be part of recently used color and it is here. Now the stroke is applied and the color is blue and this is the thickness. If we want, we can increase. We can even type, let's say 15 points. The applied stroke is dashed line. If we want, we can change here, simply apply solid and here we have, we have different styles, dashed line, dotted line, we can choose. And here we have the stroke alignment. You can set stroke inside, in the middle of the path or outside. If I will click outside, the thickness, it goes out from the square edges. And here we have cap. If it is open path, you can set the square cap, rounded cap. Also, we have option for corner. These two settings we will leave as it is and under that we have here radius. 
by clicking on these points we can apply directly radius if we click and drag here we can apply the radius undo but if we want specific number we can type the radius here let's say 100 once we will type in the value if we click on this button link together the radius value and click in another field the radius will apply from all the side but this 100 pixel is depending on the shape size if we will increase the shape size by pressing shift key this time if i want to increase without typing any number i can just bring my mouse here and drag look at this all the way i go to the right and release the mouse the number is limited to 243 and this radius number is based on our object size so if we will apply here 250 and hit enter look at this value is rejected because this is the maximum radius we can apply according to the object size if i will go back again to 100 hit enter any other value 150 this way we can set the radius let's create another object delete it let's change the color to red at the bottom here we have some options under pathfinder we can exclude our lapping shape we can intersect subtract and make it union or combine now we have just one square here if i will press alt key i will be able to duplicate now these two shapes having two layers if we will go back to the layer palette you can see independent layer we have and once we will select both of them and go back to the properties apply any of the pathfinder mode let's say exclude our lapping this mode is applied but it doesn't work because both shapes are in independent layer in order to see the result from pathfinder we need to go back in our layer palette and merge these two shapes you need to select both of them you can click press control key and click the next shape simply right click and click merge shapes once we will click on merge shape you will see the result from pathfinder let's go back to the property and this is applied here we can click on intersect shape area now we got here intersected part and if i will click on combine shapes now we have both shape combined but here if we will click on subtract front shape this shape is on the front and it is subtracted while subtracting the shape sometime you might have problem once you will click on subtract entire document background it will be involved and having same color of the shape so if you face that problem you can click on combine shape go to path selection tool under path selection we have direct selection click on direct selection tool and select the front shape this is a front shape select this with the direct selection tool and then click on subtract front shape it will work so these are some of the pathfinder modes here is our result the front object is selected with the direct selection tool if we want we can click on path selection since it is still live shape we can move we can change the position this way then if we want the final result in the solid shape this way at the top here we can click on merge shape components so once we will click on merge shape components photoshop will give warning that the operation will turn a live shape into regular path meaning to say these properties you will lose so if i will click on yes look at this we don't have shape attributes and we get here the solid result now if we will click on direct selection tool we will be able to modify this shape just from the nodes this way we can use the pathfinder mode and turn the live shape into solid object let's create some shape with the specific size hit delete once again i will use a rectangle click and drag now you know the basic property we will change the width and height 200 pixel width height maybe 320 so here we have a rectangular shape we are going to apply the radius from the upper two corner let's apply radius 100% from left and right so we need to disable this 
link together corner radius value 100 pixel from left 100 from right hit enter so this is how we have rounded corner from top let's change the color to red if you will click again in your document since rectangle tool is active this dialog box will open create rectangle this way you can create exactly the copy of the previous object that you created in your document so this is the size we have given if I will click Photoshop will create duplicate move tool now the object is selected just with the transform controls the simple way to duplicate this object is by pressing alt key you can click and drag so we have another copy and here I am going to rotate this 90 degree we have option to align also we can select both of them at the top here you can see we have alignment left alignment and here we have bottom alignment look at this we get here perfect heart shape and we created this using just simple to rectangle hit enter let's rotate it back here we can apply minus 45 hit enter but if we will click and see in the layer palette the first thing we need to merge these two objects press control key and click on rectangle one right click and click merge shape and the next step is to get the solid result from these two object so you can use shape tool or you can click on path selection and at the top here you can click merge shape component click yes on this warning and now we have single solid shape using path selection if I will select you can see the segments and the node on shape now we are going to learn how to save this shape so over and over we can use in our document so that is just simple select the shape right click and click define custom shape here you can give the name hard and then click ok now this shape has been saved in our custom shapes if we want to access again we can click shape tool custom shapes and here at the bottom you can see this is the shape we created if we will click and simply I can click and drag to bring in my document by pressing shift key we can create perfect heart so here we have here you have other shapes such as ellipse triangle polygon you can try that but under that we have custom shapes if you will click on custom shape you will notice here we have lot of shapes if you are using the older version in the previous version of the Photoshop you need to click on this button here and click all there will be option and all the shape will appear here in this panel but in latest version it is little bit more organized each category is having specific folder so if you will click on this small arrow indicator you will be able to expand and once you will click on any shape you will see the preview let's add some custom shape in our document this simple flower is selected if I will click and drag the shape is created this is vector shape you can change the color if we want to change the color of the petal and leaves it is a little bit complicated in Photoshop because it is not a vector application illustrator we can directly ungroup the shape but still we can do we can select the object and go to the layer palette you can see here we have a single layer simply you can duplicate this layer so simply we have two layer let's turn off this layer if we want to keep the leaves in this layer we can select this layer and delete the rest components by using direct selection tool here we have direct selection tool just click and drag to select these elements now here we have blue points Photoshop is indicating that these objects or these shape components are in the target if we will press delete these points will be deleted click yes and the rest points are in the target once again if I will press delete completely that components will be deleted now here we have some remaining once again we need to select this way now one two and three these three components are in the target if I will press delete once again now it's gone but don't press the delete third time otherwise the remaining component will be deleted with that we will leave it as it is 
go back to this layer, turn on and switch off the leave layer. In this layer, we are going to delete only the lower part. Direct selection tool is active. Simply click and drag, hit delete once, it will give message and then once again press delete. So, this is how we have petal and leave in separate two layers. So, once you have independent layer, you will be able to change the color. Let us turn on this layer and here we have color. We can click to apply red color. Now, if you want to move these two shapes together, simple way is to just link because if we will merge these two shapes, we will not be able to get these two color in the petal and leaves. So, we will select both layer by pressing control key, you can access the petal, right click and click link layer. Now, using move tool, you can transform, you can resize and wherever you want, you can even place. We learn the basic property of the shape. We customized two default shape into heart. We define the shape, we save it and import again in our document. Here we use custom shape, we break it into two independent layer using direct selection tool and we fill different color. Then we link them together. That is all for now. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you like this video, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and click on the bell notification. So, you will be notified every time I upload new video. Thank you.